Hi, welcome to the University of Florida IFAS Extension Office. Hola, ¿estoy buscando información en cultivos hidropónicos? Sorry, I don't understand. Do you speak English? Sorry, only Spanish. ¿Hay alguien que me pueda ayudar? Hi, someone needs your assistance with hydroponics in Spanish. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lorna Bravo. I'm Broward County Extension Director and the Urban Horticulture Extension Agent. I'm very excited to be here and share with you our latest initiative on hydroponics here in Broward County. A hydroponic system, vertical systems, make great utilization of small spaces. So we are targeting our resources through water, also the soils that we have here are not you know, fertile soils. So these systems are great in that, you know, you don't have to think about that. I'm very excited to also introduce the hydroponics for the small growers and talk about different ways that um, we can reduce uh, the water usage. This is a water culture, so uh, soilist uh, options. And so working with a lot of them, they feel uh, excited because they're being empowered to learn a, of a system and we're bringing to them the education and we're telling them how how to build one in a very economical way. Teaching them about water quality and water conservation through these systems is a wonderful way to also connect us with a lot of different resources that we um, that we can provide education on to empower them. Working together within this initiative, uh, we have this wonderful wealth of knowledge from um, our wonderful colleague Vanessa um, Campo Verde, and she'll be here talking to you um, and specifically addressing the concern that we have when we're thinking of how do we address um, pest management within the hydroponic systems. My name is Vanessa Campo Verde. University of Florida IFAS Extension Agent Educator providing trainings to individuals that work or operate agricultural operations in South Florida, specifically Miami-Dade County. My goal is to provide tools for individuals who would like to venture into indoor agriculture hydroponic settings with understanding that might be diseases and pests affecting their crops. With the absence of soil in these systems, we reduce the presence and incidence of pests and diseases and or weeds. But we also want to teach them about terms like scouting and monitoring to be cost effective into the pest management. So in addition, agricultural e education on integrated pest management with hydroponic settings also can bring a reduction on the pesticide usage for any of these uh, pathogens or insects affecting your crops. By working in this initiative, we are looking forward to bring agricultural awareness to several individuals of uh, different ages and different groups, regardless of their source of income or education. Hydroponics have been proof also that to increase the economic impact revenue on producers but besides that if we focus on the small scale it's important for people that are studying in hydroponics that the benefits are way beyond the economic impact that it actually can increase the social network and connect neighbors and connect an individual looking for information with the local government universities and researchers what we want to do is provide all the tools on hydroponics, which is just growing plants with nutrients and water without soil. One of those great assets to our initiative is Dr. Herman Sandoya within the horticultural departments of the University of Florida, and he will explain better what is his goal with working with us in this initiative. Hello. Uh, my name is Herman Sandoya, and I'm an assistant professor in bleeding and genetics, and I'm specialized in lettuce. Uh, my mission at the University of Florida is to improve lettuce for Florida production. Lettuce faces so many challenges, and one of those is uh, diseases, as previously explained, and also other abiotic stresses like heat uh, and other problems that um, are in the state of Florida. My, my mission in this group is to provide guidance on what cultivars are going to be used in these specific settings. We are testing different types of lettuces like Boston, uh, Romaine, Latin types, unique sets of niche types of lettuces that might be useful for growers in these settings. 
So we are working together with other statewide extension specialists and extension agents in different counties in, in South Florida to provide not just educational material but also hands-on training in how to establish a hydroponic crop and we hope to provide some insights on what cultivars are going to be useful. We also have specialists uh, who are Spanish speakers and we are going to have material that is going to be provided not just in English but also in Spanish. You can reach out to us at any time at the University of Florida IFAS Extension and we will be happy to help you with any concern you will have.